The topic of this video is properties of tilted or slanted lines. Let's solve a problem. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to negative 2x minus 3y equals 4 and through the point 3 comma negative 6. Express your final answer in standard general form ax plus by equals c. Okay, so we've been asked to write an equation of a line and we need to go through the flowchart. The first thing we need to find is the slope. The line that was given to us is negative 2x minus 3y equals 4. This is standard form, and so the slope of the given line is equal to negative a over b, which is equal to negative negative 2 over negative 3. I have an odd number of negatives, which makes a negative, so my final slope will be negative 2 thirds. Now, that's the slope of the given line, but the line that I want is perpendicular to that. So the slope of our line needs to be the opposite reciprocal. So change the sign and flip it over, and 3 over 2 will be the slope of our line. Okay, next. We need a point. There's only one to choose from. 3, negative 6. Next, pick a path. Our x-coordinate is not zero, so we take the path to the right, which is the point-slope formula. And we plug in our slope and our point. So we get y minus negative 6 equals 3 halves times x minus 3. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding. Distributing the 3 halves gives us 3 halves x minus 3 halves times 3. 3 can be written as 3 over 1, so I get y plus 6 equals 3 halves x minus 9 halves. My final answer for this problem needs to be in standard general form, ax plus by equals c. That means any term with an x or a y needs to be on the left side, and any term with no x, no y needs to be on the right side. So I have a few things that I need to move around here. So, this 3 halves x on the right will become a negative 3 halves x on the left. This y on the left stays where it is. This negative 9 halves stays where it is. This positive 6 on the left becomes a negative 6 on the right. Now combine the fraction with the integer. 6 is the same as 6 over 1, but I need a common denominator to combine two fractions together times 2, times 2. So I get negative 3 halves x plus y equals negative 9 halves minus 12 halves. Minus 9 minus 12 more is minus 21. So negative 3 halves x plus y equals negative 21 halves. This is our final answer in the standard general form.